Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the week of July 22nd to the 28th. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is just a message from my guides, okay? So it's not going to be like anybody else's message. This is just a message for somebody. I don't know who. So let's see what we got here. We're going to start right here with this deck. This is for Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? July 22nd through the 28th. Angel of Balance. So this has something to do with <laughs> bringing balance to your life. Something may be, you know, helping to bring balance to your life. Things have been chaotic, so this should help to balance out the activities, balance out your life. Something is go coming, okay? There's some sort of outside force, angel of balance, that is, is helping you to restore balance. Could be in a relationship, could be at work, could be in everything, okay? So something to do with restoring balance within yourself. So there's some sort of angelic guidance here okay um, that is trying to help you restore balance in some way something needs to be balanced obviously what do we have for Pisces things have been chaotic but that's probably gonna come to an end playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so, you know, maybe you're going to start feeling more playful. Maybe you're going to start feeling more at ease. Maybe things are going to start feeling better because things are going to start to even out. Okay, things have been chaotic. But balance is about evening out, right? If you think about those scales. So something is about to even out for you, which is great, which will probably lighten up your mood a lot. Okay, um... To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So basically it's saying just have fun. Just have fun. What do we got for Pisces? One card for Pisces, please. Begin now. Take your first step. Take your first step. So we're going to read that card and see what it has to say. And then we're going to break right into that deck right there. Take that step, whatever it is. You probably already know what it is. You're very intuitive, right? You know what that step is. I probably don't even have to tell you. Every journey starts with the first step. There is no moment better than the present one to begin. You might not feel ready, but nevertheless, it's now time to start. A new cycle is beginning. Wape the slate clean and get going. It is time to wait. wipe the slate clean. Absolutely. Release familiar routines, stagnant situations, or challenging relationships that no longer support you or empower you. This could be a love relationship or a work relationship, whatever it is. If it's not making you feel har harmonious, if it's not making you happy, if you, if it's not light making you feel lighthearted, then it's probably, you know, it's it's causing that scale to tip. It's it's, it's weighing you down. So there's something that you guys got to release, obviously. You are at the end of an old cycle and beginning a new and exciting one. Set your sails for new horizons. There are times when the traveler needs to separate from family, friends, and acquaintances to enter new places within himself or herself. Sometimes the traveler must go beyond what is familiar in order to be open to transformation and change. Thus, the journey brings a heightened sense of awareness and ignites mindfulness. Sometimes it can feel difficult to take that first step, but unless you do, you'll never know the joy and fulfillment that await you. Do it now. A journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step. So apparently you guys have to do something to bring balance to your life. There's something that is causing you to be weighed down. And you need to you need to remove it so the scales, you know, come back together. 
So you, but you got to do it. You are, you, you got to take that step. So you, you already know what this is. I'm sure. What do we have for Pisces, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? It could be a really happy time. Maybe you're, maybe you are, maybe you've already done this, and now you're about to start over. You know, maybe you're starting to feel more at ease. Hopefully, that's the case. <laughs> new beginning. I mean, I can't make it up either. That is a new beginning. That's leaving everything behind. That, that's your clean slate. This is starting with a clean slate. So you guys are going to be starting fresh very, very soon. Leaving the burden, leaving the baggage, leaving all the bullshit behind, okay? This is exciting. This is an opportunity to step into a new phase. Seriously, this is a major new beginning. You think about zero. This is the very, 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 very. It's before you take that step. You're about to take that step. So you guys are about to step into something brand new. Oh my God. And it's love. Whatever it is, it's emotionally fulfilling with that Ace of Cups. It is. I mean, this is love. You may be receiving a new love offer, okay? You may be receiving or you may be giving it, whatever the case is. This is love. Intimacy, compassion, new love, happiness, affection. So you have a new start in love, Pisces. Three of coins reversed. Ooh, four of swords. Ooh, seven of swords reversed. Oh my God. Some of you are going your own way. And maybe it's self love. This can certainly be self love. You may, this is independence. You may be deciding to leave behind something that caused you a lot of tension. You see that five of wands down there? That's tension. That's tension and conflict and struggles and power struggles. You may have been struggling to let go or you may have been dealing with somebody that was struggling to let go, but this is going your own way, taking care of business on your own. It's like, no, and this could be on your own because that's a one. You may be deciding that you love yourself too much. I'm going to go by on my own. This is too much. This is, this is games. This is competition. This is tension. You could have been dealing, you could have been, this is a fool. You could have been dealing with a fool. Somebody could somebody could be leaving you, or you could be leaving them. Okay, could be dealing with an Aries. Um, could be dealing with a Virgo. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, but this is a lack of togetherness, and that's why I'm wondering if somebody is leaving and going their own way. This is independence. This is no more working together, no compromise, no communication, making a quick decision, a very hasty decision, basically to go their own way. So either you or somebody else may be making a hasty, quick decision to go their own way, removing an obstacle. Um, that has caused exhaustion. Somebody is exhausted here with this Four of Swords, like really seriously mentally exhausted. This is letting go of an idea, the death of an idea, the death of something, a thought, death of an old idea that was holding you back. It was keeping you imprisoned. It was keeping you trapped. These are both thoughts so or, or something like that. Not even thought. It doesn't have to be just thoughts. Something was keep. Well, it is thoughts. Something was keeping you stuck. Something was keeping you trapped. And I feel as though you, you're you probably, this is be careful getting caught. This is getting caught cheating or something. I wonder if some, if some, if somebody has been cheating, they're probably going to get caught. Just saying, just being honest with you. They probably are going to get caught because this would be of a very wise, wise individual here who basically, this guy is consciously aware of everything that is going on around him. So you may have been dealing with a cheater or you, you or somebody, I think somebody is going to get caught um, or they have gotten caught. Um, hmm. Anyway, because um, we do have a third, there could be a third party situation here. Anyway, this is a very wise, wise, wise individual who has been enlightened. And this is cheating. So I don't know if somebody's been cheating or what, but don't look good. Just being honest with you here. So, and this is competition. Much competition. 
So you, you could be dealing with somebody who has competition. You have competition with this person, whatever. I'm just being honest. Um, but this is very quickly rushing away from working with somebody. So somebody is leaving, okay? Somebody is, is getting away from working together. I'm not going to work with you anymore. That's what that is. Because this is probably self-love because this is self and this is love. We got self-love here, Pisces. Fresh, clean slate. I love myself. You're out going your own way. A lot of you are going your own way to restore balance in your life. And you're probably going to start dating. Um, there could be some jealousy here. You could be, you could have been dealing with a very jealous individual. Um, either way, I see this is solitude. The hermit is solitude. This is, this is introspection. Time of reflection. This is taking a break as well. So I feel like you guys are going to be taking a break. You're going to be taking a break from somebody. Maybe you've caught them talking to their ex or cheating. There's been some jealousy. There's been some lies, deception, betrayal. I can't make it up. I'd like to. I'm sorry. So, you know, I'm just being honest with you. Somebody is... is, is uh, deciding to go their own way this is very independent energy as well we got somebody here who's becoming independent stepping out of the conflict stepping out of the race i'm not gonna i'm not going to compete for your goddamn attention you know so that's what it is it's like i think that you know somebody is taking that step and they're gonna do it right now because they, they're so wise. We have somebody here that is, is so enlightened, so wise, so consciously aware of what's going on around them. It's like they're not, this is not a naive individual. So we have somebody here that is, I think, leaving, removing this obstacle. This is removing an obstacle that was a lie that was keeping them trapped, hurting them seriously with these swords. I'm going my own way. I can take care of myself. I don't need this shit. I love myself. I'm going to go find love someplace else. So Pisces, I feel as though you will be restoring some sort of balance this week. You're probably just going to take that very first step this week. It could happen suddenly. It could happen suddenly. Suddenly somebody decides to go their own way. And you may feel relief. Okay? Things have been so tense. You may feel instant fucking relief. Excuse my language. I don't know why I'm swearing. But you may feel relief. It's like, I got to take a break from this. This is too much. It's just too much for me. So I see you guys taking a break. Isolating yourself. Refocusing working on yourself, going through some sort of awakening and starting over with a clean slate. And I think you're leaving. This is the, when the, when the fool starts their journey, they leave the, everything else behind. And that makes complete sense. It's with when I go back to what I read. So this is a major new beginning for you. It really is. And this is, this is happening because you love yourself. For some of you, <laughs> Yeah, you know, this is independence. It is independence. It is. I see you see you guys doing quite well on your own, taking care of business, working on your money, working on your abundance, working on yourself. Probably not wanting to work with anybody right now. It's about you. And I think that's the best possible love that you can have is for yourself. So that's what I see. So good luck. <laughs>